everybody, Happy Gamer here with another tactic tic tac for you. This time, Tyranids versus Grey Knights and a Hive Tyrant with Psychic Scream. We're going to show you how screwed the Grey Knights are if they come up with against against the Tyranids. Let's look down. Here are the characters: Hive Tyrant, Psychic Scream, uh, Death Leaper. He's not going to do anything. I just think they're cool. And this, this is my uh, Grey Knight squad of Terminators with a chapter, uh, captain, champion, master, whatever. We don't care. All we know is he has a leadership Tim. So here's what we're going to do. For people who don't know, we're going to have Psychic Scream. Psychic Scream is a Tyranid hive mind power, which lets you roll 2d6 plus 2 versus a unit uh, a unit's uh, highest leadership and then they take that many wounds now let's go over some other special rules we're going to start with shadow in the warp shadow in the warp is everybody within 12 inches of a synapse creature is negative three leadership and also we're going to have our little friend here ah it's after me! It's after me! He does another negative D3 to the leadership to the war army's warlord. So let's just find out what that would be, just for fun of it. It's going to be, I don't know. Well, well, let's see. Oh, I roll a five. That's another negative three. So let's get that straight. This guy, the warlord of the Grey Knights, is now at negative six leadership. Negative six leadership. We are now going to skip the deny the witch, skip the perils of the warp, because if they go off, then none of this happens and we don't care. So let's just assume it works. We are now going to roll 2d6 plus 2 and find out how many wounds this squad is going to take. Okay, here we go. Wabam! Oh, and I didn't even get a good roll. A three. And a two, that's a five, that's a six, that's a seven. So that right there means that this guy, if he's at leadership 10 minus six, which makes him at leadership four, and I just rolled that, that plus two, that makes it seven. Well, let's do the math. They just took three wounds of damage. One of these guys is dead. Let's assume it's not the warlord. But uh, one of them is dead, because they have two wounds each. Automatically. No save, no toughness, no nothing. Let's see if I had done it again. Let's see if I had gotten a better roll. Aha. Doubles. Three and three. Still, that's about as average as you can get. That's a six. Seven, eight. So that would be, that would be two models dead. Two models dead. Automatically. Now, it's even better if you imagine that these didn't have two wounds. If these were just standard Space Marine uh, uh, Grey Knights with one wound each, that would be four models dead. Period. And this is a six-inch radius. So if there was another squad here, uh, if this was two squads, let's say that was three and this was three, and we have two squads here, they would each have taken wounds, each one of them. Let's see again if we did it again. Maybe we'll get a really good roll or a really crappy roll. Oh, that's the type of roll you want to see when you're a Tyranid player. Okay, we just rolled an 11. So we get three examples here. A crappy roll, an average roll, and a good roll. We just rolled an 11 versus their leadership six. Okay, boom. One of these units is just wiped out. Let's say it was this one. It's two, four, six. That's six wounds. And he, as you see with 11 minus, uh, I'm sorry, 11, 12, 13, minus 4, that's 9 wounds. 9 wounds. This unit would be gone if it was one unit. Or if it was still a big unit, 9 wounds. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and one of these guys takes 1 for 9 wounds. You just saw a command squad of Grey Knights wiped out. That is your tactic tic-tac for this week. I will see you next time. Bye.